What's up guys, Coach Az here. Today I wanna to give you six different leg kick combinations, six different ways to set up and land your leg kick on your opponent. Each one of these is a different setup, so therefore you've got multiple ways of getting your opponents to react and respond and increase the chances of you landing that shot. Let's jump straight in with number one. Number one is one of those staples of trying to land a leg kick and that's the one, two, three to rear leg kick. The one, two, three being a jab, cross, lead arm hook. Now the reason that it's finishing on a lead arm hook is this allows you to really get that rotation through the body when you then turn to attack with the leg kick. The other thing that hook does is it attacks this side of the body, one side, in order to open up the opposite side for the leg kick. So we're going jab, cross, hook. For this combination, I'm taking everything upstairs. I'm trying to draw my opponent's attention and guard up towards their head so I can shoot that leg kick down into their thigh, ideally when they've got their weight down on that leg and it's not going anywhere. Combination number two, this time we're gonna go in with a cross body hook to leg kick. One of the most effective ways you can get in on somebody is by not always coming in behind your jab. The jab, if used too much, can become very predictable. So here we're shooting in off of our back arm to close that distance, then ripping a body shot with our lead hand. The beauty of the body shot is twofold. One, it puts our weight on our lead leg, which allows us to quickly lift our rear leg up and shoot that leg kick in nice and fast. Two, when defending a body shot, most people will lean forward to brace their core, which means they're heavy on their lead leg, meaning it's gonna be more difficult for them to lift that leg up and check our leg kick. So cross, body hook, and then whip that rear leg round in nice and tight, wrap that shin around that thigh. Number three, we're gonna use this as a cheeky setup for a switch kick to the leg. We're gonna throw a one, two, one, a jab, cross, jab. But on that second jab, you're gonna notice I'm gonna initiate the switch there and then. So rather than just switching naked and letting my opponent read that and react to it, I'm hiding the switch behind the jab. By doing this, of course, it allows me to turn my front leg into my rear leg. Really effective if you end up fighting in an open stance, which means that you might be orthodox, but your opponent is southpaw. So in order to attack the outside of their leg, especially with any significant power, you're gonna use the switch kick to turn your front leg into a back leg. So we're going jab, cross, jab and switch at the same time to then set up the new back leg that was the front leg to wrap around that thigh. You can also use this orthodox to orthodox in a close stance, but you'd then be attacking the inside leg or really closing the distance to attack the rear leg. Number four, we're gonna go for a fake cross to lead leg leg kick to rear leg leg kick. Now. This combination is all about weight distribution. When I throw that fake cross, I'm putting my weight on my lead leg. That then allows me to lean back, take my weight onto my back leg and shoot my lead leg up. I could shoot that to the inner side of the leg or I could even bring it up to the body. The idea really being that I'm trying to get my opponent to either check over to that side or focus on defending that side and create an opening for me to come around the opposite end. If I've got them paying attention to one leg coming one way on their body, it often means I can create an opportunity to hit them and open up on the other side. Number five, this is a much shorter combination but super effective, especially for those people who are pressure fighters. They're always moving forward, they're always trying to attack onto you. Here we're gonna work a pivoting hook into a leg kick. Now not only does this work really well on people who are moving forward, because by pivoting off that hook, you're creating space in order to land the kick. But what it also really allows you to do is instead of always landing your kick on the side of their thigh, if you can create enough of an angle, you can actually bring that kick down on the front of their thigh. Most people become well conditioned to take kicks to the outside of the leg, but on the front of the leg, where this area is hit so rarely, it means that if you get a good impact on that point, you can do a lot of damage really quickly. So as I'm throwing my lead arm hook, I'm pivoting round with my back leg, putting my weight on that front foot so I can then lift that back leg and drop it down into ideally the front side of that thigh. Number six, we're getting a little meta with it. We're gonna set up a leg kick off of a leg kick. I got this one from Liam Harrison, one of my favorite Muay Thai fighters of all time. He loves to throw the same kick twice. The idea being that a couple of different scenarios can occur. 
One, they check the first leg kick and therefore believe that something else is going to follow, which means they don't prepare themselves to check or block or cover the second one. In that instance, if you're familiar with them and you know that they're always checking your first kick, you'll throw that first one lightly, knowing and understanding that the check is coming to then put the power behind on the second one. The second situation is that they don't check the first kick and again they think something else is coming but instead you attack that same point a second time. The first one they might have at least been able to mentally brace themselves, tense the muscle and help kind of reduce the impact but on the second one if they then think the hands are coming or you're going to go upstairs with the legs it means it's going to cut through that much deeper so practice throwing that leg kick twice in quick succession the second your foot touches the floor you bounce it up to the bag and with all of these kicks a really good practice to have is to not look at the leg as you're kicking. Try to look upstairs so that they think that your attention is on their upper body and then attack that leg blinded. It's a great technique to practice, but you obviously need to work on establishing the height. If you're more of a beginner, then please do look where you're kicking so that you're making sure that you're getting the right height, getting the right angle and setting up the shot correctly. So there we have it guys, six setups for landing a leg kick. Go practice it on the bag, set it up on some pads and of course mix it into your sparring. Let us know what you want to see a video on next time. Comment down below, hit that like button, hit subscribe and I will see you on the next one.